Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to understand how to make a row decoder at the transistor level. Let's get started here. Here on the screen, I have shown the block diagram of a row decoder. It's nothing but a 2 is to 4 row decoder where there are two address lines and there are four outputs. And these four outputs are nothing but your word line 1, your word line 2, your word line 3 and your word line 4. Recollect when we wanted to access different rows or different word lines in case of an SRAM array or a DRAM array or for that matter even a ROM array, we always use this row decoder which was nothing but a black box. In this clip, we are going to study the implementation of the same at the transistor level. So just a quick example, we know how it works. When both the inputs are zero, it's my active high decoder. That means my word line one is going to be high. All others are going to be zero. If it's zero one, word line two is high. Others are zero, so on and so forth for the other two cases as well. So we want to go ahead and implement this using a NOR based technique. I'm going to, you can make it using NAND as well. Right now I'm going to use a NOR based technique to implement this row decoder at the transistor level. At the NOR base level, we have seen that while we study draw arrays, that this is nothing but my pull up, which comprises of a zero and MOS. It's a zero and MOS circuit, right? Which has a pull up, which is nothing but a PMOS, which is always grounded. And it could be something like this, where this is my transistor one with an input A, and this is my transistor two with an input B, and both of them are connected in parallel, so it becomes a NOR. And this is my output. Now here we have two inputs A1 and A2 and we have its complement inputs as well which is A1 bar and A2 bar. So let's first make that grids ready quickly. So let's say this is my A1. Let's say this is my A1 bar. Let's say this is my A2 and let's say this is my A2 bar. So I have made A1, A1 bar, A2 and A2 bar. Now let's get started with the first case. The first case it says that my R1 is going to be high if this A1 is 0. See remember we are trying to first implement the pull down network. So you will focus on the NMOSs only. So NMOS does not turn on when a 0 is applied, correct? So A1 will have to be inverted to turn on the NMOS. So should be A2. So here is how it will look. A1 bar will go as my input to this gate. Correct. It's a NOR, so this is grounded. And the other input is A2 bar. Correct. This is grounded. So I've grounded the two transistors. I've given them the two inputs. Now both the other terminals needs to be shorted. This is what I'm going to do here. I've shorted both the NMOS there. And this is nothing but my V out, which in this case is R1. And we also know that it should have a pull up PMOS. So this is nothing but my pull up to this correct PMOS grounded VDD and the other terminal connected to output which is R1. Let's similarly go ahead and make it for the other case as well. Here it says that R2 is going to be high A10. Now we know that NMOS does not turn on when a 0 is applied so we need to invert that. So again it will be A1 bar. Does everyone agree with me? Correct or not? Yes. So we'll have to make it A1 bar. So this is one of those. The other one is A2 directly. You don't need to invert because A2 is 1. At that point of time, you need your R2 to be high. So we'll connect it to A2. And this becomes my nothing but a circuit for my R2, which will also have its pull up, which is nothing but a PMOS, which is, remember this is VDD. So is this, and the output is taken, which is nothing but R2. Similarly, we can go ahead and make this for R3 as well. Very simple now. It uses A1. So let's quickly make A1. See, input is A1. This is grounded. The other terminal will go to the output. Look at the NOR diagram. A1 and A2 is 0. It does not turn on at a 0 is applied. So it will be A2 bar. And this 2 would be shorted. Correct? See, this point gets shorted to this point, the other terminals. And here is nothing but my 0 circuit pull up PMOS which is grounded and this is my output R3 correct and similarly we can complete the last case as well when A1 and A2 both are 1 so A1 can straight away go 
a2 can also straight away go this 2 will be shorted this is my output r4 and here is nothing but my pmos which is grounded which makes it a zero circuit so this is nothing but my 2 is to 4 row decoder it's an active high active high means at one point of time only one output is high all others are zero we can get an active low also when one output is low all other are high and that can be realized using NAND array which I am not going to get into because it's very very similar the implementation is very very similar now a1 bar and a2 bar are easily obtained by putting an inverter at a1 so this gives me a1 bar and putting an inverter at a2 gives me a2 bar so this is becomes my entire circuit I have drawn that entire circuit in fair here just for your understanding. So this is a nor based road decoder circuit for two address bits and four word lines. You can just see this is exactly the same. It looks much symmetric because I have already drawn it and keep it ready before. But it's exactly the same what I have drawn here. So there's no change. 